In server operating systems, Linux dominates the landscape, powering everything from small personal projects to enterprise-grade cloud infrastructure. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to set up a Linux server, you've probably noticed tons of distros to choose from. With numerous distributions available, selecting the right one can significantly impact your server's performance, security, and maintainability. In this video, we'll examine the five best Linux distributions for server environments, analyzing their architectures, security features, and ideal use cases. Let's go. Counting down at number five, Fedora Server. This distro is known for being cutting edge, offering the latest software while maintaining strong stability. Fedora Server serves as a testing ground for future RHEL features. It is built with SE Linux, a strong security out of the box with easy remote management. This distro is best for developers and system admins who want newer software without sacrificing reliability. At number four, Alma Linux, AKA the RHEL clone. Alma Linux emerged as a rock solid community driven replacement after CentOS's shift to CentOS Stream. This distro provides a stable RHEL compatible option perfect for enterprise development and users who need a free RHEL alternative. Just like Fedora, this distro is built with SE Linux, a strong security with regular security updates. Taking the bronze medal at three is Debian. This distro has a reputation for stability and strict open source principles have made it a favorite for mission critical systems. It has made its way as one of the most stable and trusted Linux distros ever to exist. Debian maintains a huge repository with over 59,000 packages. It can run 32-bit and 64-bit applications simultaneously, thereby accounting for its multi-arch support. Debian, with its lightweight base installation, is excellent for older hardware. For system admins who prioritize stability over bleeding-edge features, this distro is made just for them. Coming in at number two, CentOS Stream. CentOS Stream represents a fundamental shift from the original CentOS model, positioning itself as a rolling release distribution that sits between Fedora and RHEL. This distro inherits RHEL's stability DNA with a more frequent update than traditional RHEL. Future RHEL features appear here first. CentOS is SE Linux enabled by default with regular security updates from Red Hat, and the crypto policy system for consistent security settings. This distro is optimized for server workloads and perfect for development environments for future RHEL deployments. And number one, Ubuntu Server, developed by Canonical, has become one of the most popular server distributions due to its balance of stability, extensive documentation, and wide software availability. This distro is cloud and container optimized for AWS, Azure, Docker, and Kubernetes. It offers a simplified software management system and is suitable for everyone from beginners to enterprises. In case you're lost, there is a huge community support and documentation to find help with ease. Lastly, Ubuntu is great for long-term deployments. So, which distro are you using for your server? Let me know in the comments. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for more Linux content, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.